I just want to mention um, a PragerU doc that came out recently. Oh, yeah. The D-Trans doc, the friend of the pod, the fifth Psy guy, <laughs> Noah Fins. Friends friend of the pod? No, PragerU Prager is not a friend. Of, <laughs> PragerU is a sworn mortal enemy of the pod. Oh, okay. Um, but they did show friend of the pod, fifth Psy guy, Noah Fins, in <gasps> their... Yeah, no in their D-Trans way. doc. Oh um, my god. And this is the thing about this documentary. It's terrible. Um, quite literally, one of the people from it um, has said, oh yeah, no, I still have all these horrible feelings, um, and then describes dysphoria, and says, but Jesus wants me to be this, and through Jesus, blah, blah, blah. Be whatever you want to be. I Whatever you want to be, right? But when you're saying trans people are harming people by transitioning them, which is one, not what trans people are doing, um, <laughs> just not at all, um, and you know, when you're saying that, um, <laughs> when you're saying that, you really, really undercut your point when the main person in your documentary is like, you know, still incredibly unhappy in themselves, but f seemingly forcing themselves to be a woman. And I'm not going to make any comment on that person's gender identity. I honestly don't care what her gender identity is. Um, personally, I, just, I don't know her, don't care. Um, and it's up to her to do what she wants with her life. But there are sort of similarities you can see between a lot of the sort of very prominent D-trans people who are being pushed by, you know, sort of right-wing, alt-right folk, um, and the sort of results that you see from conversion therapy. And again, D-trans people exist. D-transitioners exist. I'm not saying that all D-transitioners have gone through conversion therapy. Absolutely not. Being a D-transitioner, perfectly valid, Luke. It's a perfectly valid identity to hold. Um, and I don't want to dissuade anyone from detransitioning if it's the right thing for them. I'm just pointing out some of the similarities. Another similarity, though, um, you know the uh, you know the corrective situation that we were talking about? Yeah, the other person that was in the detrans documentary literally described their father doing that to them um, when they sort of came out as being trans. This PragerU doc literally literally describes a sort of right-wing um, person using conversion therapy, like very obvious, very, one of the worst, sort of most obviously bad forms of conversion therapy on their child um, in order to get them to not be trans, right? So like conversion therapy is absolutely something that happens, you know, taking, um, taking I think, quite a young person down to Mexico um, to pay someone to have sex with them. Yeah, that's what happened. Well, okay, um, it was that one, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that one. The documentary literally says, "Um, oh, yeah, my dad did this when I when I did that, and I now and like and then they tell their whole story. And they're like, and now, yeah, I know that I'm not like I'm 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 definitely a man, and it's like, you can be again whatever you want to be, but this is that's that's literally an example of conversion therapy. It quite literally is. Feels like that shouldn't even be put under the label conversion therapy. Conversion therapy is like. Uh, like that's not even a medical intervention. That's just abusing someone. If, what, that's what, what conversion therapy is, though. And well, I, 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 okay. I, I get you, and I want to agree with you, but I, yeah. I, I, I'm so sorry to cut you off here. No, it should be uh, under the umbrella of conversion therapy because conversion therapy, in all of its forms, is exactly that harmful. It is just not yeah. as viscerally sort of uncomfortable. Do you in understand that case, what I mean? then the, the phrase conversion therapy shouldn't be used. There. Yeah. What I, I mean to... is like conversion therapy medicalizes something, yeah. which while sometimes it looks like it's being performed with a medical, through a medical lens, with a medical method, like it, it's not. Yep. Um, I, and I understand that like you, you don't want to separate those things because they're all forms of abuse. Yeah. Some clearly worse but all bad um like you just it shouldn't be called conversion therapy it should it, yeah that's really awful yeah no it's torture torture and pseudoscience crucially it is pseudoscience and i if you've watched this podcast before or listened i guess hate pseudoscience with a passion if you want to get me angry you know that you can just slide some pseudoscience my way and I'll go nuts like a like a gorilla or a chimp that you look in the eyes. I'm going to be flinging theses and ripping faces, my guy, because I hate me some pseudoscience. There is nothing that I find more detestable than something that is obviously wrong and evil and horrible or just plain, you know, not helpful, useful, bad, being like built up and, mm. and 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 kind of dressed up in scientific language mm. so that people trust it and believe in it because science is such an important thing and by poisoning it with mm. this kind of stuff torture horrible torture I, I i honestly it's it's disgusting to me it's it's horrid mm -hmm.